Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine Study Channel. Today we talking about the story of the Yellow Emperor, the Yellow Emperor. Approximately 2697 BC, approximately 2597 BC, is one of the significant figures in ancient Chinese legends and one of the three sovereigns in ancient Chinese mythology. According to ancient Chinese records, the Yellow Emperor is considered one of the founders and ancestors of Chinese civilization. Revered as the progenitor of the Chinese nation, the story of the Yellow Emperor mainly appears in classic Chinese literary works such as the classic of mountains and seas, records of the grand historian, and book of documents, legend has it that the Yellow Emperor was born in the Zhuanyuan Terrace area, in the Wei River Valley of Shaanxi Province. He is regarded as one of the leaders and founding figures of ancient Chinese tribal alliances, unifying parts of the Central Plains region, and promoting cultural development and social progress. During his reign, the Yellow Emperor invented numerous tools and technologies, driving the advancement of agriculture, craftsmanship, and medicine. He is also considered a founding figure of traditional Chinese medicine. It's said that he personally researched medical knowledge and pioneered acupuncture and herbal therapies. Furthermore, the Yellow Emperor led armies in battles against other tribes, and according to some legends, defeated formidable enemies, consolidating his rule in the Central Plains region. He is described as a wise, kind, and courageous leader, revered by later generations as the mythical Yellow Emperor. Although the historical deeds of the Yellow Emperor are challenging to authenticate in traditional Chinese culture, he remains an admired and commemorated legendary figure, revered as a symbol of the Chinese nation and a founder of civilization. His story holds a significant place in ancient Chinese culture and history. The Yellow Emperor is considered one of the authors of the Huangdi Nei Jing, one of the most important ancient Chinese medical classics, comprising the Su Wen and Ling Shu parts. This medical classic covers theories, diagnosis, and treatment methods in traditional Chinese medicine, profoundly influencing later Chinese medical theories and practices. Legend has it that the Yellow Emperor made significant contributions to agriculture, craftsmanship, and medicine. He invented agricultural tools and medical instruments, advancing agricultural production and medical knowledge, positively impacting society at that time. Regarded as a prophet and great mentor in traditional Chinese culture, the Yellow Emperor's image is seen as a symbol of noble virtues and wisdom. His advocacy of qualities like compassion, courage, and wisdom has had a profound impact on later moral concepts and value systems. Although the exact historical status of the Yellow Emperor is difficult to ascertain, his place in Chinese historical and cultural heritage is undisputed. Revered as the progenitor of the Chinese nation, the myth of the Yellow Emperor pervades the folk beliefs and cultural traditions of the Chinese people. Forming an integral part of Chinese culture, the Yellow Emperor is venerated as the ancestor of the Chinese nation, with many Chinese considering him a deity and conducting rituals to honor him. During the Qingming festival each year, People pay homage to the Yellow Emperor at sites such as the Yellow Emperor's Mausoleum, expressing reverence and gratitude. These rituals carry rich cultural and historical connotations and are an important part of Chinese folk beliefs. The myth and stories of the Yellow Emperor not only widely appear in literary works but also have a profound influence on various aspects of Chinese art, music, and drama. His image is depicted as a theme in various artistic works, contributing significantly to the development 
and prosperity of Chinese traditional culture. Regarded as a symbol and ancestor of the Chinese nation, the story and myth of the Yellow Emperor contribute to consolidating the sense of identity among the Chinese people, especially in terms of national and cultural identity. The significance of the Yellow Emperor cannot be overlooked. He symbolizes the origin and cohesion of the Chinese nation. The image of the Yellow Emperor is often used to educate and inspire people. Promoting the wisdom, courage, and compassion he represents, his story is quoted as an educational narrative, inspiring people to pursue excellence and unite in the struggle, becoming part of China's cultural tradition, geographical names, and historical commemorations. Many geographical features, rivers, mountains, towns, and streets, are named after the Yellow Emperor. Reflecting people's respect and commemoration of him. Additionally, historical sites like the Yellow Emperor's Mausoleum serve as important cultural heritage, attracting numerous tourists and scholars for visits and research in Chinese history. The Yellow Emperor is regarded by many rulers or regimes as a symbol of legitimacy and authority. Some dynasties or emperors associated their rule with the legacy of the Yellow Emperor to strengthen their legitimacy and authority. The stories, thoughts, and myths of the Yellow Emperor are widely included in the classics of Chinese studies, becoming an important part of ancient classical culture. His wisdom and governance ideas are also used as educational materials. Inspiring students' understanding and recognition of traditional Chinese culture, the myth of the Yellow Emperor is also integrated into Chinese folk art and traditional festivals, appearing in dance, drama, folk tales, New Year paintings, and other forms of traditional arts. The representation in these traditional art forms carries on the myth of the Yellow Emperor and enriches the cultural heritage of China. The legend of the Yellow Emperor's influence is not limited to mainland China, but also plays a role in international exchanges and cross-cultural communication. As a representative figure of Chinese culture, the Yellow Emperor is mentioned and introduced in international cultural exchanges, contributing to the understanding and friendship between different cultures. Sometimes. His legends and stories become a way for Chinese culture to reach out to the world. The legend of the Yellow Emperor is also reflected in world literature and artistic creations. Some writers and artists may use the story, image, or philosophical thoughts of the Yellow Emperor as inspiration, creating works that have a cross-cultural impact, contributing to the diversity and exchange of world cultures. The legend of the Yellow Emperor and related historical literature is also a subject of interest for international scholars and researchers within the scope of cross-cultural studies. People explore ancient Chinese culture, history, and religious beliefs with the legend of the Yellow Emperor being an important topic of discussion. The philosophical thoughts and wisdom in the legend of the Yellow Emperor are sometimes used in cross-cultural philosophical exchanges. His advocacy of qualities like compassion, wisdom, and governance ideas are sometimes seen as universal wisdom, participating in cross-civilizational and transnational philosophical dialogues. Despite the Yellow Emperor's legends and influence lasting for thousands of years in contemporary society, some specific aspects continue his influence. The myth of the Yellow Emperor still plays a crucial role as a cultural symbol in contemporary Chinese society. As one of the symbols of the Chinese nation, his image is used in the construction of national symbols. Cultural symbols and ethnic identity, strengthening people's identification with traditional Chinese culture. Historical sites like the Yellow Emperor's Mausoleum have become tourist attractions, attracting numerous visitors. The protection and inheritance of these relics and memorial sites contribute to the preservation and inheritance of contemporary cultural heritage. Assisting in carrying forward the cultural connotations 
of the Yellow Emperor's myth. In conclusion, although the history and legends of the Yellow Emperor have a long-standing legacy, they continue to exert their influence in various ways in contemporary society, making significant contributions to Chinese traditional culture, national identity, and medical development. His legends and stories remain an integral part of Chinese culture that cannot be ignored. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments and subscribe.